Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are doing another 20 drops. A new season, a new series of 20 drops. I'm going to drop every single location at least 20 times to see what will be my designated drop slot for seasons to come if they don't get destroyed because I'm hoping map changes. And the first one I chose was Sleepy Sound, a quiet location, so I thought it would be a great starter to a very quiet series. So, enjoy my 20 drops into Sleepy Sound. Let's go. Game 1. First kill, and it's with a Grey Striker Pump. Nice buff we got there, homie. In a red whiplash, and I'm going to go fuel up my car. Cars are the only way I'm getting out of, out, out of Sleepy Sound when it's out of circle. That's a lot of outs I just said. The loot I have here is impeccable. And that, that tent will come into use later, as you'll see with my next kill. Because most of the kills in these early games are, are then commentated by me. I thought that. Yeah. Yep. Quad cra person in the road on a quad crasher, and I, I with a tent of defense, and come behind and spray him with, with my gold Mark 7. Yep. Like I said, tents are just used for more than just storage. Hiding in the long grass. By the end, of, by the end of this game, and I'm in top three. Thankfully, the the circle has favoured me by putting just just close to the centre. The loot I have has continued to grow with a gold hun hunter bolt, blue blue striker, and blue auto. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this game, but you know me. I'm pretty bad at the game, and when I get good loot, I die to probably the worst loot in the entire game. So let's see how that turned out, huh? What? Yeah, he's yeah. I just killed someone, and then I completely missed the next shot because he's hiding in a bush and I don't see. And then aiming up my second shot, another 99 sh body shot. I quickly reload and I see him panic building the pyramids and floors, which he edits through, and begins to slowly tower up. Now, I stay crouched in, in low ground, but decide to push forward to get me that final kill and break through the roof, but use the armor's wall. So, I quickly go to the very not secure bottom of his base, which causes his whole base to crumble as things are dropped down, and I shoot him out for the first win. Okay. Game 2, I'm in Coney Crossroads despite dropping Sleepy Sound. I just used the car to get here. Going into this small office and shooting, going to the skin. Then back onto the streets, having a shotgun duel. I, I bet with two SMGs, I win this fight by a tinge of my purplish hair. Kinda. I don't know. Then downstairs, we can just some further. You can't see the result, but I die. Rushing straight towards my bounty. Well, not mine, but yeah, he was hunting me. Yeah, I somehow kill him. Yeah, this is game three, by the way. Just in case you didn't know. Just what you need reminding. Oh yeah, upgrade my loot. And back to the two SMG strategy. I don't even realise there's someone in this bush next to me until they take the first shot. Just as soon as I run out of SMG bullets, they kill me. Proving the, sp the spray meta is superior. Early first game and they wasn't trying to first stop me. I range a him, but he knocks it off and we fall right into the water but I'm able to kill him. Pretty good early game. I don't think this guy has headphones because he didn't realise I was absolutely melting through his health. I stand there in shock and pick up his far superior loot, which gives me an edge. I've also stopped the two SMG strategy because it took up oh, way too much of my inventory. Walking out the shack and I'm sprayed by the dumb Naruto skin. Why do people wear these? They're stu stupid. Game 5 and I'm already shooting this pistol in the face. Pretty good, am I right, lads? I'm gonna start running that combat pistol. Cypher PK made a video on it, which means I'm legally ob obligated to. Completely ignore the guy shooting at me, picking up the meds and even looting an ammo box before slowly reloading and shooting him in the face several times. I shot someone in the face 20 times and that is what happened. 
spawning in the shop and I get sniped several different times. Whoa. Uh, and kill on Harley in game six. And I shoot this guy who's, who's fleeing behind trucks, fleeing behind boxes. So I run into the house through the opposite ga garage door. I go through that door like it's none of my business. And Ronnie tries to spray me with a far superior weapon. I absolutely decimate his health with my Ranger assault rifle. Get crushed, Liptard. It's a bit better than the MK. Arriving in Rocky Wheel to a warm welcome of a blue monkey. That, that partially dissipates my health. I'm able to improve my loot with the blue version of the weapons I was already carrying. It's not really that hard. Limited loot pool this season, but it's a great loot pool nonetheless. Yeah, you know that guy who was shooting me? Yeah, this is where he is now. Getting shot in the face by me. What a shotgun is good. I don't care what you say. Because I I used it several different times and I've got got wins and kills. As you see in the end of that. Killed this guy on, with one shot who was camping in a slight corner of one of the sandy mountains. you got to admit, that place was a good kill spot. Because I proceeded to get way more. I just need to get one more kill from that. That guy's trying to pick up the loot and I kill him. He drops a victory crown and I, and I still stay in my base because the storm is favouring me. That's until I get a firefly thrown at my base. Quickly departing on the safety launch pad, I head down to go claim my crown. Like any good, good form like King would. Look at that drip. Well, you can't see it on my head, but yeah, I like to imagine it. So. I don't know what that guy was doing, but he was probably he probably left but i killed him anyway because i want that 10 kill victory win which i will get when i win this game if you're wondering why i'm carrying madness it's because it's probably one of the best healing items we have at the moment plus healing is kind of a problem this season as you'll learn from a later game yes he was also the guy with the fireflies which enrages me even further to want me to completely decimate a score and win this game. I'm keeping on top of him with small little side defences with no with no pyramid basing. He shoots it out and I drop down. I take a bit of damage. But shooting him from the side, I get his health. I destroy his health and get that eliminator victory. Wearing a victory crown, may I add, which gives me my personal second crowned win. I got the first one and the off screen one. Don't worry about it. Game 7. Welcome to the massacre of the pool. Destroying that booby hut. Harley skin and then shooting someone in the pool. Littering their loot on the floor. Does someone get killed behind the wall? I do the exact same thing and duck behind the wall. Preparing to fight whatever sweat just murdered that guy in cold blood. Suddenly he doesn't realise until my first three shots fiddle with skin. She then starts deciding to build up. And I do my old strategy of just walk around, he'll leave an old shot. And then I decide to build. Then use my stairs and advantage and tries to spray meta me. But the stoker pump once again does its job and beats his health. As I said, healing is a problem, and this is why. This guy was keeping the high ground, and I didn't have much health, so if he shot me once, I'd probably die. Yep. Watch that. And it was a ranger, by the way, so yeah. Game 8. Shoot this guy from across the riverbank who was trying to fight these two guys. I do the exact same, but not on the side of the riverbank. Breaking him, surviving on, on two health, and then the guy who's fighting breaks through the wall and then shoots me in the face despite missing his first three shots. Game 9. I'm, on top, I'm camping the top of the mountain with... I realise this is late game, even though it's like second circle at this point, and I'm trying to shoot this guy from a far away mountain with a ranger assault rifle, instead of picking up the much superior for the situation, Mark 7. I should really start doing that, I'll learn from my mistakes from this video, and try to be better. I open up a little gap as an escape, and um, my health gets violated. I don't even know what happened here, I just had really good loot, and I killed someone by running around with my car, and I keep dropping stuff. I've got like two cans of medmith, and then I die. To an Omega. I, I don't, I don't even know what happened here. 
I really don't. Game 11. Clock. That's all I have in my notes, just clock. Still is going on Harpoon before Buff Armor comes in and, and rails my health. There's a great weapon. You know Cornflakes. It's currently getting in Shadow's mine and then shotgun from the side. Bro moment, am I right now? Skullfish? Huh? Yeah, I got shotgunned in. Sni sniped, shotgunned twice. And leaving on one HP and then shot in the face. Game, game 14. Hello. I actually have my mic in for this game because you said I can't have it in for a bit. I don't swear, so like, it's fine. Okay. Loop okay. around, trying to make sure I don't get the guy in this guy's skin. Fold me with a grey striker pump. Like, what the actual hell? I don't get it. Why is it? Yeah. So, um, you can hear my sisters freaking about about the Spooderman yeah. mythic, which I found this game from killing someone. Oh god! And then my bounty comes out of nowhere, and my sisters are freaking out. I am freaking out. I swing away getting that bounty back down to one bar, swinging from tree to tree. I am running. If it wasn't for the Spooderman mythic, I would probably be dead right now, I even though I don't have the skin. The, person after me. the mythic is. <laughs> and I get shot out and die to full damage. Oh, they sh Bruh. Yeah, yeah um, we're in the bush. That's all I have in my notes. Yeah, got shotgun. Now, this is another, another win game, and Spooderman is currently in the jungle. This Spooderman mythic proceeds to save me a lot of time, and that I'll absolutely troll my victims. Yeah, I'll bush camp. Fight me. And this is where it comes in. Narrowly avoiding, I swing down and drop to the floor. Guy who's building at the bottom. It's like two shots, and then I peek around the corner and shoot him in the face with my purple striker pump. Which leads to my third victory car win. And I have to for the game. Charlotte and Kick only crossroads, and I lose all my SMG bullets and die. Yeah. Looking for the Spider Man mythic in a, in a 7 century zone. And she just sighed because the job's boring, and I proceed to murder her. Her, her boyfriend is after me, and I'm and I'm just really using her dead corpse in order to open the vault. Yeah, pretty good strategy. I proceed to throw her to the side, hoping that he would get distracted and revive her. But the henchman of some some of the bits appear and tries breaking through the floor. Thankfully, I spray him to death with with my grey Mark 7. Sorry, green and grey SMG. I'm picking up their blue. Their blue Ranger Assault Rifle. But I didn't really drop, drop that green Mark 7 because I get a purple one just the very next second. Tons of ammo boxes, tons of loot, and a purple hunter, hunter bolt, and tons of medication for my next need. This is also how I got most of my health this game. I was always looking for the Spooderman Mythic because it's amazing. No cap. Speaking of the Spooderman Mythic, I did eventually find it. And I dropped into Tony Crossroad and first decimate a guy. I'm pretty sure it was a group. I missed my shot and get pumped down by that. Oh, the Gate Vader. Game 20. I don't want to talk about it. So yeah, this is the end. What did I think of, of Sleepy Sounds? Good. And any second now, any second now, so yeah, that's how many kills I got, 77 in total, which I'm pretty proud of, don't you think? And any second now, three wins in total, if I get anything higher than that, that's my new drop spot. So yeah, I love Sleepy Sound, but next location we're doing... Shifty shafts, I've decided. So, I'll see you guys in the next 20 drops. Uh, bye bye.